Aetna and Stromboli deposited ash and hot lava several days ago, causing the airports to be temporarily closed. Footage circulating on social media on Friday showed central Catania streets and cars covered in a thick layer of black ash, slowing traffic. Tourists are advised to follow government guidance via radio and TV, and avoid areas around the volcanic crater. The Istituto Nazionale di Geofisica e Vulcanologia INGV, which is essentially the Etna Observatory, has issued a red alert, meaning the situation could worsen. They sensed a gradual increase in Strombolian activity in the Voragine crater recorded at 8 p.m. on Wednesday. INGV stated that there had been a gradual increase in Strombolian activity in the Voragine crater, Mount Etna since 20.00 on Wednesday the 10th of July local time. Mount Etna has indeed erupted. The Italian Department of Civil Protection informed that increased volcanic activity is not the only thing happening. Mount Etna has erupted many times in recent decades. The status of one of the most active volcanoes in Europe has increased following the eruption and melting of hot lava on Friday the 5th of July. Black smoke rose high when Mount Etna erupted. There are many more images of today's powerful explosion in Stromboli circulating on social media. Media. Now the strong smell of sulfur can be felt in the port area. Plumes of ash towered about 4 kilometers above the peak. A powerful eruption occurred at the Stromboli volcano some time ago, at around 14.10 local time. Large plumes of ash rose from the peak area and drifted to the southeastern part of the island. Friends on the island reported that although the explosion was not very loud, it felt like a powerful shockwave that shook the village doors. The Volcano Observatory in Catania, INGV, reported that Strombolian activity occurred again in the Voragine crater yesterday afternoon. At around 10 p.m. local time, activity began to increase and was almost continuous. This activity was still ongoing at the time of this update. This follows the resumption of activity yesterday afternoon when the eruption became more intense and almost continuous. This activity produced an ash column that disappeared towards the south. Explosive activity continues. The Darwin Volcanic Ash Warning Center, VAAC, warned of a volcanic ash column reaching a height of 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters, or a surface altitude of 100. Explosive activity continues. The Darwin Volcanic Ash Warning Center, VAAC, warned the volcanic ash column was expected to reach a height of 15,000 feet, 4,600 meters, or a flight surface of 150. Explosive activity continues. The Darwin Volcanic Ash Advisory Center, VAAC, warned of a volcanic ash column rising to 12,000 feet, 3,700 meters, or flight level 120 and moving at 05 knots to the northeast. Activity at the 10,905-foot volcano, Europe's highest, has increased significantly in the past 24 hours. Photos capture lava spewing from Etna's largest crater with incredible force. Dozens of flights near Catania Airport, the main international gateway to Sicily, have been cancelled or delayed, and around 15,000 passengers have been affected by the disruption. Ryanair was forced to cancel 42 flights in Italy, to Rome, Venice, Pisa and Bergamo, while EasyJet has suspended connections to London, Milano and Naples. Meanwhile, 
some arrivals were diverted to Palermo, which takes four hours to travel. There were disruptions to service throughout the day, but Catania Airport remained open and had not resolved the issue. INGV added in a statement, the average amplitude of volcanic earthquakes, after a gradual increase observed starting at 8 p.m. yesterday, has reached a high level, with an increasing trend. Italy's Civil Protection Department has warned that this is not just a one-off incident. Mount Etna has erupted several times in recent decades, 